How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Sigmas and Gamers and today it looks like Sony has officially revealed that they have created their own PC gaming monitors that will be compatible for both PC gaming and also the PlayStation 5 and <laughs> I gotta say hey this might actually be something worth, look, worth looking into if I'm ever going to consider upgrading to a PS5 or maybe an Xbox Series X at some point in the near future <clears throat> or like you know it doesn't technically say Xbox Series X but hey hey at least it's going to be might be something worth getting be within the budget instead of just like going around hunting for like a really a good good television set that runs like 8k and all that stuff and you gotta say you know gotta delay that delay that gratification and so yeah without any further ado let's go and dive into this article a little shall we and so it starts off saying that Sony Electronics is launching a new gaming hardware beer brand this year called Endzone <clears throat> The line of headphones and monitors is specifically designed for use with Sony's PlayStation 5 with the Windows PC games, and those products, for better or worse, it matches the PS5's white and black aesthetic of the, to a T. So the timing of Sony's interest in PC-specific hardware makes sense as more of Sony's interactive entertainment PlayStation exclu exclusives move to PC. And I gotta say, it does kind of make sense. We're seeing since we're seeing like games like like God of War 4 and the Horizon series actually make an appearance on on the PlayStation 5 on, on the PC including let's see Final Fantasy 7 in remake and all that good jazz and so yeah let's go ahead and continue with this and there are two gaming monitors currently in Sony's end zone lineup the M5 and M5 so the M5 is like a 27 inch 4k monitor with 144 Hertz refresh rate while the end zone M5 sports a 24 Hertz rate of 1080p resolution. Both models feature the HDMI 2.1 to USB-C ports as well as variable refresh rate support just like the PS5 does, but only the higher end M5 offers a full array local low dimming which improves image quality by delivering better contrast. The M5 will cost $899 at launch while the M5 is priced at $529. Gotta say that's a little pricey right there, but hey, probably the it wants to when it probably goes on sale when it becomes more affordable three to five years from now. Gotta say, that might be a really good bargain as a way to upgrade next time whenever one of my current PC monitors becomes obsolete and kind of outdated at this point. And yeah, just gonna go ahead and upgrade while we still can because I gotta, I gotta say, not every piece of hardware is, is meant to last forever. <clears throat> so Sony is tiny, a special inter whatever it is features on these Gaming monitors, when they are hooked up to a PS5, the M5 offers an auto HDR tone mapping, which automatically tunes the tone of HDR color, and it will automatically switch to pictures mode depending on whether you are playing a game or watching a movie. And two wireless Endzone branded headsets are also coming from Sony, the top of the line Endzone H9 and the H7, both with 2.4 GHz wireless and blue Bluetooth connectivity, alongside with the wired headset, the H3. They are, no they are noticeably larger and more robust than Sony's existing Pulse 3D wireless headset for the PlayStation 5. And Sony says the wireless headsets will get 32 and 40 hours of battery life respectively, and the H9 will cost $299, and while the H7 will be priced at $299, and the H3 will go for $100. And Sony says the news released that the monitors will be available this summer from Sony.com and other retailers. <laughs> Maybe Best Buy, I suppose. <laughs> And the gaming headsets are currently available for pre-order on the Sony website. And I gotta say, you know, pretty cool little move for Sony right there. Just actually making a PC monitor that could actually be a really good alternative to having a really good output device. I said a very affordable price <clears throat> I used to use if I ever consider upgrading my PS4, upgrade from the PS4 to the PS5 at some point in the future. Gotta say, <laughs> yeah, especially like, you know, right now, I, we're kind of getting to the point to where I'm actually start considering getting a PS5 at some point in the near future, probably in the next two to three years, since we also got lots of <clears throat> we got the sequel to Final Fantasy VII remake coming out, which I believe is going to be winter of or next year. Correct me if I'm wrong. And also, and not just that, but we're also going to have Kingdom Hearts 4, which will be running in Unreal Engine 5, which is obviously <laughs> for, correct. But I I can think realistically that Unreal Engine 5 may or may not be able to run perfectly on last gen consoles with with the PS4 and Xbox One, but I think it might be <clears throat> primarily designed for the Xbox Series X and PS5 and but hey I'm kind of like a hypothesizing at this point and so yeah that's gonna be it for today's news guys and if you found it to be helpful and informative then be sure to drop a, drop a like as always because it does help the channel out a lot subscribe for more content like this 
hit the bell to be notified my next video is going to drop and get your own thoughts or opinions based on the new upcoming products that are being made by Sony. Then go ahead and sign up, sign up in the comment section below and get a discussion going. And thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one.